What's going on everybody? I'm gonna do a little review of these beautiful Alpine Stars um, SMX5 boots and you might ask why am I doing a review of these five boots when the uh, sixes are out and everybody's wearing those? Um, well, let's call it a real world review because I'm not super wealthy, um, but I do have a mixture of brand new gear and used gear. Now, boots, I don't want to wear used boots. I don't know, it just seems gross to me. I guess there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I got brand new boots and these SMX5 boots are a little over $200. But you can find them all over on sale. Um, I found these for a hundred dollars. Now that's saving about 150 bucks. And at first, um, these are size 13 and a half. Uh, European boots come in half sizes. And I was very excited about that because. I wear a size 14. Uh, these here, Joe Rockets, are 14. Uh, but 14 is a teeny bit big, but 13 is too tight. So I always had to go with uh, 14 because a little too big is better than too tight. But anyway, I got these at 13 and a half, and it turns out they run small. So 13 and a half was too tight if you're gonna order these get a half size bigger um, and if you do get them or you find a deal like I did on a size that uh, is a bit snug uh, hit me up in the comments I have a way to stretch out boots like these um, without taking them to a uh, what is it cobbler you don't have to take them to a shoe store or buy a shoe stretcher I have a proven method of stretching these out a little bit. Now when I got them, and uh, like I said, I got, I got big feet, but they're not super fat. I don't have giant wide feet, but they were way too tight back here. Like the top part of this heel, this molded plastic, was pinching in like that. Um, and using my little trick, I was able to stretch them out. Um, they were a little wide through here, or a little too tight through here, and I was able to uh, stretch that out. Now, I've been wearing these every day for a few months now, and I absolutely love them. I love them. I thought I would wear them once in a while, like when I was gonna ride really hard. Um, same thing with my leathers. But I ended up liking both so much, and then being so comfortable, I wore them both all the time. Now let's see. Got some very strong Velcro in here that has not loosened up, you could tell, whatsoever. So, got a zipper. Uh, a little bit of leather in here. So you squeeze your feet in here. Um, I put them halfway in. Pull the front, pull it back like that, and it seems to to help a little bit getting them in there. Once they're in, they fit real nice. They're super comfy. Um, I said this this Velcro is really strong. Um, a lot of times when I'm riding. Especially if I'm stuck in traffic or whatever for a long time, I do that. I, re I rest my, my uh, put my shins right down there on the pegs just to, to relax my knees for a little bit. And they are holding up great. Um, these sliders over here, um, these come off and those are replaceable. Uh, they just pop off, that's not a big deal. We got a little bit of venting here. And I thought there was another spot. But anyway, um, 
that's another thing. I thought my feet would cook in these, um, and they weren't that bad. They weren't that bad. I mean, you got a little slider here if you're sliding along the ground. Hopefully not. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend them. And if I see another pair for a hundred bucks, I would pick them up. Um, so yeah, that's it for the SMX5 uh, review. Right, as soon as I'm done talking here, I'll add a little video of me riding with the boots on so you could see uh, what they look like. And uh, I'll throw a couple photos up. And uh, I might do a little review of this tail bag. There's not much to it though. Uh, oh, I also wanted to say I got um, some uh, uh, saddlebags coming from a company called Viking. Uh, they're sending sending those out to me shortly and uh, this summer and spring I'm gonna do a couple overnight trips and I hate wearing a backpack because uh, I try to enjoy the ride even when I'm going somewhere you know without you know what I mean uh, when I'm going to a destination I don't want the whole ride to be uh, boring I took a trip last summer with a big heavy backpack on and it killed me oh my gosh the two and a half hour ride out there three hour ride with the backpack I was super uncomfortable it kept banging into the pillion seat um, so these Viking uh, bags are coming I'm gonna review those and let you know uh, what I think um, now the the shoes Alpine stars did not give those to me surprising you know I'm still a small channel gonna be much bigger I'm telling you but uh I paid my 100 bucks for those uh, the Viking bags uh, they're sending them out to me uh, which is very cool you know uh, and that's about it see y'all later broken out <laughs>